Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your own local speed test server and it's super simple to do to find out the true capabilities of your mesh system. This, so this is one of the things that I use when I'm testing out the routers and mesh systems that I do. This is actually running on the ASUS Rogue Rapture GT6, which is the next mesh, mesh I said mess, mesh Wi-Fi that I'm going to review. So I'm actually almost done with that. So video's coming out soon. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. All right. So you see all these fancy numbers and everything. It's super simple. Let's get into it. Now for a list of devices to get optimal results, you need a computer with an ethernet port that's going to act as your server. And you basically download the software. It's free. Obviously it's your choice if you want to download it or not. I'm going to show you guys how to do that shortly. But you basically need your computer to act as a server. And then you need your router, which you're testing obviously and you need another device which is basically the client like your phone which is your Wi-Fi device or another computer that's hooked up via Ethernet or just something else that you can run the speed test on. You basically just need to go to a, an IP address and you'll do the speed test. So here are the devices that I use. So we have for my computer I am using the new Mac Mini with the new M2 Pro chip and this has a 10 gigabit LAN. So this cable is a CAT7, category seven ethernet cable that's hooked up to my unmanaged switch, which is a 10 gigabit unmanaged switch. So from here to here, I can actually run 10 gig. But from this unmanaged switch, I go to my router, which currently is the ASUS Rogue Rapture GT6, which is really, really good. But this router, the fastest port on it is 2.5 gigabits. And that's the port that it's connected to. So automatically, because I'm going to go through the router, I'm actually going to be limited to 2.5 gigabits at the most, just because that's the living factor, even though these are fully 10 gigabits. And then I will also run another test via ethernet to my main PC, my Windows PC, and this has a 2.5 gigabit port as well. And this is hooked up to the same switch. And so basically what happens is if I'm testing with my phone, which I was doing earlier, this thing hooks up to the router and the router is hooked up through the switch to this computer. And that's how it's doing the speed test. So let me show you guys on the computer. We're going to go to openspeedtest.com. The software itself is open speed test. It's free to use. However, download it at your own risk. I'm not liable for anything, so just as a heads up. But you go to the download sections, depending if you're using a Mac or a Windows uh, PC, it depends which version you're going to download. So when you go to downloads, you basically scroll down and then this is what the software looks like. You'll see it momentarily. Now, if you have a Windows machine, which my other machine is, I would have to download this version, but because I'm on a Mac, I download this version. Now, I have the new Mac Mini, which has the new M2 chip. This was the closest thing, M1 chip. It's not an Intel chip for me. It is, it's Apple's chip. So I just downloaded this M1 version. So I just click download. And then when you download it, you open it, and then you basically drag and drop this. And then it installs. Now, because I already have it installed, it's saying like, hey, are you sure? Like, do you want to replace it? So I'm, I'm just gonna click stop because I don't need to do that. But that's it, it's installed. And now I can close this. I can go to my launch pad and it's right here, open speed test server. So when I open this up, it automatically creates the server with this very nice and simple interface. It's awesome. And the port is 3000. Now all you need to do is go pick up any of your Wi-Fi devices like this one or go to your other computer and go to this IP address and port and just click start and you'll do the speed test. And that's all you need to do. And if you wanna change the port, you can also change the port as well. So if you don't wanna use 3000, you don't need to do this. Most people won't need to, but if you wanna change it, just type in the port you want, click change port. Some ports are reserved, so you can't use um, any port you want, but there are a lot of open ones. So I changed it, now I would need to go to 3001. I, if I type in that address right here on my phone, because I'm hooked up to the same network, the same router, I just click reload, it shows up, I click start, and then boom, my test starts, and again, it's very fast. Now, it really depends what you're using because this is a Wi-Fi 6E device, even though that's a Wi-Fi 6 router, it's typically faster. 
Now, if I use my iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I go to the same IP address and port right here, I click start, it's going to be like half the speeds of the other one. So just, just as a heads up. And typically, if I'm close enough, I would just place it on this and optimally place it and you know try to get the best possible speeds. But this is just like a rough example I just wanted to show you guys. Now, these are the Wi-Fi devices wirelessly going through the router, and the router is hooked up via Ethernet. Basically, makes it all, all the way to this, which is acting as the server. Now, I have my Windows PC on HDMI 1. So if I go to my Windows PC right here and I just open up, so I just have to switch. Okay, so I go to this port right here, um, IP address and port, I click start. Notice if I go anywhere else, if I typed in 3000, it's, it's not gonna like, it's not gonna do anything. And before it was 3000, that's why it even showed this, but it has to be exactly the port you're using. So when you click start, it actually does the speed test. Now, the router is limited to 2.5 gigabits, so is this computer. So this computer is going via ethernet to the switch, which is hooked up to the router, which is then hooked up to the same switch to the other Mac mini. But basically, the fastest it can go is no more than 2.5 gigabits. That's why you see the speed right here. And that's the whole point of this test. Now, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Something very important to note, I mean, let's go back to the Mac Mini real quick. If I set this, if I set this up as my server, I'm not supposed to do the same test from the same computer. So if I copy this, paste that, and I click start, I'm not going through a network, so it's going to be crazy fast. And that, the reason for that is because I'm not, I'm not even using anything at this point. It's just the computer doesn't need to go through the Ethernet, through the router, through nothing. It's because it itself is the server. So that's why you're going to get these crazy speeds. So this would not be a valid test. That's what I'm trying to say. So don't type in the same address on the same computer because you're going to get these crazy speeds. And that has nothing to do with anything because this is not going through the router. So that's pretty much it for the video. But if you guys want to know how to do it on Windows, you go to openspeedtest.com go to downloads again download at your own risk and I personally need this version which I think most people would need that version and then it's saying make sure you trust this file I'm gonna say yes and I'm gonna say keep I'm gonna say keep anyways and I'm gonna click open file and once you open it so Norton scanned it it said it's safe but once you open it it's pretty much there it automatically opens. So this one, it doesn't even need to be installed. It's just an executable. And now this is the address that I need to go to. So this is, so I would take my Wi-Fi devices and so I go to that IP address and I click start and then boom, I'm gonna do the same speed test. Again, get the same crazy fast speeds. So again, you could, it's very fast as you could see on this and on the Mac Mini, because now this computer is the server, I can actually go to HDMI 2, which is my Mac Mini, and go to 2. Now I would need to go to that IP address, because, you know, if I went to this one, and I, again, this is the pointless one where it's doing the test on itself, which is, which is not what I want. Uh, now I could change this to 15 and port 3000, go here, and now... The server is actually my Windows PC, and I'm going to the Mac. And again, even though the Mac itself has a 10 gig port, and the cable supports 10 gigs, and the switch supports 10 gigs, because the router and the other computer is limited to 2.5 gigs, that's the fastest I'm gonna get. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. I am trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. And for those of you guys wondering, that actually is floating and I can actually turn that on and off. I really like this light for some odd reason.